Are you listening? Hey my dolls, welcome yeah. back. Today's tutorial is going to be on the super interesting, different, and bold yeah. reverse smoky eye. I really like how it turned out. Super fun to do. I really hope that you guys yeah. enjoy it. Sorry I didn't have a proper oh. introduction, but I was recording it yeah. and my mic was off. But let's keep on going. To start off, my lids were already primed and using soft peach from the Anastasia's Shadow Couture Palette. We're going to be applying that on the brow bone all the way down to our lid. This is going to make sure that we set that primer, that it's not sticky anymore, and it's just going to make it a lot easier for us to blend the other shadows next. Now taking Morocco on a 240 brush from Sigma, we're going to begin working it on the inner corner of our crease, so the opposite from what we normally do. We usually use darker colors on the outer crease, and now we're working it opposite way. So working that in a windshield swiper motion and little circular motions until that shadow is really nice and blown now, and it's really blended into nothing to the outer part of our crease. Next, to darken up the inner corner, the opposite that we usually do, we're going to be taking fudge and we're going to give this look a little bit more dimension. So using a 217 brush from MAC, we're going to be darkening it up. In the same drill, we apply the color little by little and using little tiny circular motions, we're going to be blending it until it disappears to nothing once we get closer to the outer part of the crease. Now taking intense gaze, we're going to be applying that um, in a tap in motion into the inner part of the lid. Starting from the tear duct area, we're going to apply a lot there just to make it a little bit more dramatic. But if you don't want to make it too dramatic, you don't have to do that all the way to the um, tear duct area. And then next taking pink champagne, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous shadow. We're going to be patting that on the outer part of the lid and extending it just a little bit to the crease to make it kind of like a little bit sharp there and give it a little bit more drama to the look. Next, mixing Intense Gaze and Fudge on a Detailer Brush from Zoeva. I'm going to be running that from inner to outer corner of the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier Espresso Gel Liner. It's in the color Espresso, which is just brown. And we're going to be lining our eyes and creating a quite dramatic wing. Of course, this is to taste. I really wanted something a little bit more dramatic than what I have been doing lately. Um, but you do you. And uh, yeah, just line your eyes per usual. Also make sure that you tight line the upper water lash line so that there's no gaps between your skin, the liner, and the lashes because it does not look pretty when we do. Then just apply a couple of coats of mascara. I'm using my Accelerated uh, Something Something Mascara from Milani which I really really like. I will leave that name in the description box because I'm horrible remembering names. So just apply a good amount to your bottom lashes and a little bit to your top lashes if you're applying false lashes and then I went back in with the same gel liner and line my waterline for false lashes I'm going to be using my dodo lashes in the style D105 I have a coupon code and I will leave it listed in the description box if you guys are interested. But I really, really like these lashes because they just complete any look. And that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, that you found it fun, that you learned something cool. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Besos. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.